when it comes to our understanding of wisdom you know, we tend to think of it that gives us insight into what to do in a particular situation yeah. where it's more what is the heart of the father in that situation so we're then motivated by the father's heart in a situation not with just oh i need to do this because the outworking of the father's heart can be done in many different ways it's not one way to do it there's multiple ways that multiple people would do it and they'll be all different but they'd all be according to the father's heart so the cardiogenosis is the heart to heart relationship in which the father is revealing his heart to us all the time in every situation uh, that we face and in every dynamic that we face we need to be an expression of the father's heart so wisdom is that expression you know it's it's actually being us in that situation to outwork the father's heart which is why there's not just one way of doing something you know and we do like mm -hmm. to formularize things and it's like okay here's the way to do it but actually god wants us to creatively outwork his heart because we are an expression of his manifoldness therefore it would make sense that everyone would do it slightly differently so it is the the intimacy the knowledge which is experiential knowledge of the father and his heart <laughs> is what guides us directs us and leads us into outworking his heart and wisdom is the outworking of his heart effectively um, so a lot of people want to know their scroll they want to know their destiny they know want to know what they're supposed to do well, God is not going to tell you what you're supposed to do as much as reveal who you are. Because when he reveals who you are in relationship with him in intimacy. Then he's going to reveal to you his heart and you outwork his heart through who you are. So your scroll is really a, a revelation of who you are, not a revelation of what you're supposed to do. And a lot of people are always fixed on because that's the works based mentality most of us have been brought up with. What am I supposed to do? What's God's will? How can I do it? Well, God is not necessarily at work telling us his will in specifics, but revealing his heart. So Jesus only did what he saw the father doing. What he wasn't seeing was a vision of the father doing something. It was a revealing of the heart because he was in the father. The father was in him all the way along. So he had this cardiogenosis relationship of oneness and union and expressed that oneness and union every day of his life in relationship with the father. And he said, I am the father of one. If you've seen me, you've seen the father. And actually, that's how God wants us to be if you've seen us you've seen the father because we're sons of god and therefore knowing the father's heart frees us and gives us the liberty of expressing who we are to outwork the father's heart rather than have a, a really rigid way of doing something it's the heart of the father that we express in every situation and of course that is going to be uh, an outworking of wisdom in that god has wisely made us to reflect him and his wisdom is outworked through us when we're expressing his heart um, and of course you know we will find that people will look at a situation through their redemptive gift through various aspects which causes them to engage a situation differently so if i was to engage a situation and i know the father's heart for that situation i'm going to engage that situation differently than someone who's a mercy gift or as a serving gift or a leader gift because i will come at it at a completely different way through who god has made me to be which ultimately is why we need more than one person to are at work the father's heart generally because each of us is coming from a particular perspective and therefore yeah there may be only us which is great um but we're still able to outwork the father's heart through who we are in that situation 
And I, I think that frees us and gives us a lot of flexibility and to relax rather than feeling fearful of getting it right. I've got to get it right or I, or I mustn't get it wrong or, you know, I need the perfect will of God in this situation, you know, and it, it binds people up into such tension that they don't do anything half the time because they're afraid of getting it wrong. You know, and God just wants us to be an expression of his heart towards people, which is an expression of love towards people. And ultimately, when I engage with people, I'm engaging with God's heart of love towards those people and the oracles of his heart. He's passionate for those people. He's he's he has a burning desire for the best for those people. He has intense joy. Now, if I can express the father's heart towards people, they're going to feel how much God loves them, cares for them, wants them um, to in, in find the best for their lives in him. You know, without me being pressurized into trying to do something or even trying to do something the way Jesus would have done it or the way the father would have done it. The father, I'm not the father and I'm not Jesus. Therefore, I'm not going to do it the way they might have done it, but I will do it the way I'm made by him to outwork his heart. And that frees me and gives me a lot of liberty to enjoy life in all these things because I only have to be me. You know, my scroll is, a, is just me being me. I am. You know, that is my scroll. It isn't a list of instructions or things that I have to do in my life. Everything I do in my life can be an outworking of the Father's heart. And all of those things, no matter whether there's a specific situation, I can still be an expression of the Father's heart to people in it. You know, and that that is a lot of liberty and freedom and creativity to be the God, the person God made me to be. But it does require intimacy because to know the father's heart, you can't do it at a distance. You can't be afraid of him. You can't, you've got a cardiogenosis is where there is this union that the father's heart is revealed. Knowledge of the father's heart is infused into us because we are close, because we are heart to heart. Yeah. And if people think, oh, God's up there somewhere and I'm down here somewhere and I've got to try and connect to God to find out what his heart is. No, God is in me. In the very core of my being. And I'm also in him. And therefore I can engage that with that level of intimacy, which is heart to heart, face to face, mind to mind, all of those, you know, deep things. So when it talks about being with God. That word in Greek is prost. It means face to face. There's that level of connection. You know, and that that's what life should be like, obviously. You know, so God intended it to be, but we're all learning to get there. And there'll be times when we forget and we default to certain behavioral patterns or learned patterns or things that we think we should do in a situation. You know, what should I do? You know. And sometimes it's actually nothing because the father doesn't have you to want you to do anything in that situation. That's the hardest thing to not do anything because you know, it's not the father's heart for you to do something in that situation. And it's quite a lot of times I know I can do things, but I know that I don't have the okay from the father to do those things because other people need to do them. But it is a very, um, I think freeing way of relating to God in that sense of intimacy, which will bring that revelation of the Father's heart uh, to us, because it is it is a, a a degree of intimacy which can't be at a distance. It can't be intellectual, because what is it? The Father, the eyes of our heart may be enlightened. So that deep inner knowing will have enlightenment, will be lit, illuminated, revealed within on our heart, not our head. And that's why it's more instinctive rather than logical. 
If you enjoy these videos, would you please take a moment to like, comment and subscribe? It really does help. Thank you very much.